Have you ever wondered why everyone on the internet has serious difficulties to think properly? Have you ever wondered why flat earthers won't accept the quite obvious evidence that the earth is round? Have you ever wondered why anti-vaxxers would rather let their child die than giving them autism? So today on your favorite YouTube channel, why is everyone so dumb? Welcome to Brains Applied. This week we are having a little chat about the confirmation bias. This bias, sometimes also called the my side bias, is defined as the tendency to search for, interpret, favor and recall information in a way that confirms one's pre-existing beliefs or hypotheses. It had already been observed centuries ago by the Greek historian Thucydides while writing about the Peloponnesian War. For it is a habit of mankind to entrust to careless hope what they long for and to use sovereign reason to trust aside what they do not fancy. But the formal discovery was made in 1956 by the Englishman Peter Wason. The confirmation bias makes you do three different things. First, people test their beliefs and their hypotheses in a one-sided way. This is called selective exposure. Trump supporters are more likely to watch Fox News and liberals are more likely to watch MSNBC because they know that these channels will most likely confirm what they believe. And nobody likes to be proven wrong. For the same reason, people who only give their cat or dog vegan food will probably only check vegan blogs while normal people will consult a veterinarian. Only people with higher self-confidence are more likely to look for information that doesn't confirm their ideas. People will also interpret the same information in completely different ways, depending on what they believe in. This is why some people see the fact that Kylie Jenner is the youngest self-made billionaire ever as her being a good businesswoman, while others think that she just used the fame her family got when her sister released the sex tape. When Donald Trump makes a business deal in which he uses a loophole in the law to make extra money, liberals will be more likely to see him as a fraud while his supporters will see him as a smart businessman. Next to selective exposure there is something called selective recall. People tend to remember things in a way that is beneficial for them or for what they know. In an experiment, people were given the description of a woman with introvert and extrovert traits. One group of the participants was told that the woman worked as a librarian, while the other group was told that she worked as a salesperson. After one week, the people in the librarian group were more likely to remember her introvert traits, while the people in the salesperson group were more likely to remember her extrovert traits. To find out why the confirmation bias happens, fMRI scans were performed on people who were judging information. fMRI stands for Functional Magnetic Resonance Imaging and the technique measures the blood flow through specific parts of your brain. The scanner can see which parts are active as they need more oxygen and therefore more blood. The participants had to judge statements about a politician who they liked, a politician who they opposed and a neutral person. The results showed that political statements that challenge your beliefs light up the parts of your brain that are related to pain. And this happens because our brain tries to protect itself from bad things. To resist this imaginary pain we either double down on our beliefs or we try to run away from the debate. And this is why you can't have a proper discussion with an anti-vaxxer. Just in case you think that you are too smart to suffer from the confirmation bias, you probably are wrong. Research has shown that intelligence has no influence on whether people suffer from the confirmation bias or not. So get out of that comfort zone and try to challenge what you believe. And that is all I wanted to tell you today. I hope you liked this video. If you did, press the like button. Not everyone does, but I know you do. Don't forget to share your opinion in the comments. And 
if you want to see more videos of me press the subscribe button and the notification bell so you receive a totally free notification next week when I upload a new video and I will see you guys later.